Hi, this is Wendell, and welcome to this chapter plan for the ICND1 chapter on Ethernet switch configuration. Now, to begin this chapter, I'm assuming you already have whatever you're going to use to practice command line interface commands, whether that's a simulator or real gear or Dynamips or whatever. And in the previous chapter's intro, I had suggested that you start building your own command reference. If you've not already done that and you can find a place to take notes, I encourage you to create your own list of both config commands and show commands to help you in the learning process. This chapter introduces a lot of new commands. In fact, it's the first chapter, if you're reading sequentially, where you see a lot of new commands. So on the left, you see a list of headings. These are headings for the types of commands or the categories of commands you're going to see in this chapter. For instance, here we've got some commands on passwords. We've got console and VTY configuration switch IP address configuration, switch interface configuration, and so on. So I would suggest that you make a heading for each of these and fill those in in your config command section of your command reference as you read through the chapter. You also want to do labs. Whatever labs are available to you, uh, if you don't have any structured labs, practice and just play with the commands in the chapter. If you've got the Pearson Network Simulator that's got my name on the front, there are lab exercises you can use. And if you want to know what lab exercises to use, look at that URL at the bottom of the page, and that brings you to a PDF that tells you, all right, after chapter whatever, do these particular labs. So you get some guidance there. Now, after you've read through the chapter and understood and practiced a little bit, I would suggest that you play a little game in that you think about those headings on the left, the headings for config command sections or categories, and see if you can recreate those from memory. Which ones do you remember? Which ones do you maybe forget? and note where you're weak for later study. Also, if you know you just really don't remember parts of it, repeat some of those labs, or if you don't have lab exercises with a simulator, just get your real gear out and try those commands again, looking back through the chapter. Now, once you're finished with this part of the book, then I would suggest that you first consider, what, am I, what do I know that I'm weak at already in regards to these commands, and go ahead and do those labs again. However, once you're getting to the end of the part, I want you to be able to confidently remember most of the commands in each of the chapters in that part. So back to the whole exercise of think about those headings over here on the far left and see if you can remember those commands. Now, truly understanding the commands and knowing how they work is more important in the long run. But for the test, you're going to go a little quicker if you can recall all of them instead of having to use the question mark to find things. So that's why when you're practicing and studying, it's a good exercise to see if you can remember them. Just exercise the connectors in your brain to make sure you can recall this stuff. Finally, when you finish the entire book and you're doing your final review kind of activities, again, I'd suggest asking yourself, do you remember all those commands? Glance over them. Ask yourself if you remember both the show commands and the config commands. And if you see a topic and say, you know, I know I'm a little rusty on that, go ahead and repeat some of those lab exercises.